Tonight, several pastors called on the community to join them for prayer and praise in Finley Park. Just one week ago, we reported on violence and unrest just one block away at police headquarters following the death of George Floyd of Minneapolis. News 19's Emily Correll was at today's gathering. Every praise is to our God. And I'm going to ask you to just bow your heads and pray with me. A few hundred people gathered in Finlay Park Saturday night to pray for many things. Our nation, our community, politicians, protesters in unity. This is not a one way prayer. This is us praying together as believers. The crowd prayed together, sang together, clapped together and praised together as 10 different clergy members led the group in worship. I mean, I'm so thankful. This is awesome. This is what we've been praying for, for unity, for people to come together. And I mean, this is just exciting. I think God unites us all, you know, like his blood, it unites us all. Some of the protesters from the State House marched to the event towards the end where they joined in the prayer and praise. Keep on fighting, keep fighting the good fight of faith. But we kind of just stuck around because they have the, the protests going on and we support Black Lives Matter movement. So we decided to stick around a little longer just to make sure they feel like their voices are heard. I cry. No lie, I really did cry. It's, it's like, it's emotional because it's, it's not like more so we're crying because, oh, we're afraid of the police. We're crying because we're black. We've been hurt for decades. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been feeling this for decades, and we are tired, tired. Like Protesters, community leaders, church members, and more joined together in a much different scene from last Saturday's events. So we really just came out just to praise God, to show people that you don't have to just take action and pray, but you can do both. Um, so that's why we're here. That's why we're standing here. I'm Emily Correll, News 19, WLTX. City of Columbia leaders were also present for prayer in the park. We spoke with Columbia Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine about the turnout and her thoughts on protests this week. We're all here for the same reason, and you know, somebody may choose that their voice can be heard through um, through a protest. Some people can choose that their voice be heard through prayer. Um, and some people choose that their voice be heard through action and legislation and other things. We all have a role to play and so I think having them here just shows that we're all on the same path towards the same goal. We're just getting there through different ways. I mean, I think a lot of things that happened this week are a step in the right direction and I think that uh, the biggest thing is that everybody is listening. Um, and everybody wants to act. And I think that's the first step to actually getting real change. Mayor Steve Benjamin and Councilman Sam Davis were also in attendance. Meanwhile, protests continued at the State House today. Crowds continue to speak out against police brutality. We spoke with a few protesters who tell us they hope their message will get across that real changes need to be made to eliminate police brutality around the nation. Amazing, because we thought it was going to be like a one or two day thing and then you know people would die down, but this was honestly the last straw. And now that I see that more people are out here and more people are taking it seriously, they're finally hearing us, they're finally seeing us, like things are going to change and that's what we need. All a person and it's not right that every person and black people and minorities are fearing for their lives just stepping out of the house when white people can walk out of the house and it can be 100% okay. And I don't like that. And we see it every day, whether you're in the military or out of the military or you're Living an everyday civilian life, we're oppressed and nobody wants to recognize it. So it's about time for us to really take strap up and take our own stand for what we believe in. This was the eighth consecutive day of protests at the State House.